Often referred to as the father of value investing, Benjamin Graham was one of the most important people ever to grace the world of investing. He emphasized such ideas as the margin of safety and fundamental analysis, and through two key texts that he wrote, namely the books Security Analysis and The Intelligent Investor, it is pretty certain that anyone who has invested in the last 50 years has been influenced in some way, shape, or form directly or indirectly by him. The latter of these two books, The Intelligent Investor, proved to be highly influential to a little known investor named Warren Buffett, who actually studied under Graham at Columbia Business School. Now, Benjamin Graham had Jewish parents, and believe it or not, the original surname was not Graham, as you're about to find out. Since both his mother's and father's family come from the same city in Eastern Europe, I'm actually gonna be doing today a special double episode where I'm going to be talking about the family of Ben Graham's father and mother. I'm Yona Paley and I believe genealogy is fun. Get out your income and cash flow statements as well as your balance sheets because on today's episode we're going to be doing a deep dive on the genealogy of Benjamin Graham aka Benjamin Grossbaum. He was born May 9th, 1894 in London, England, the youngest of three sons of Isaac Mayer Grossbaum and Dorothy Gesundheit. Now, Gesundheit is about the most fun name that you'll ever hear, um, and we will be talking about Dorothy's family later. But for now, let's get started on the Grossbaum line. In the 1900 U.S. federal census, Isaac is listed with his profession being a China merchant. And indeed, this is the profession that was passed down to him. He was born into a prominent family, one of 13 children, and even though he doesn't show up on the 1891 British census, his wife and parents do. And using these records, along with a lot of records from J.R.I. Poland, it wasn't too difficult to figure out where his family came from and who Isaac's parents were. Bernard, Yiddish name Berek or Bear Grossbaum, along with Rebecca, Yiddish name Rivka Rachel Gansberg, were married in 1862 in Warsaw, Poland. Since we have the 1867 birth record of their daughter, Sarah, who was born in Poland, and we know that Isaac was born 1868 in England, we actually have a really good time frame as to when the family moved to England. Berek's marriage record, along with the birth records of several of his siblings, show that he was one of at least six children of Wolf Grossbaum and Etla, daughter of Shimshon. Wolf and Etla were born around 1801 and 1802, which is already pretty far back, but thanks to patronymics on some of the records, we're actually able to even go back one further generation to Wolf's father, who was Itzik or Yitzchak Grossbaum, born sometime in the 1700s. Now, when Ben's father died in 1903, this actually caused the family to have to completely change their standard of living. Uh, and the family went from being uh, quite wealthy to a bit poor. Dorothy sold the house and in a desperate attempt to make some money, ended up buying a lot of stocks in a margin account. Uh, and in 1907, when there was a big downturn in the market, she lost nearly everything. And this actually taught Ben Graham like a really valuable lesson when he was a kid. Uh, and it stuck with him for his entire life and ended up shaping uh, his investment philosophy for years to come. According to a number of sources, including Wikipedia, Benjamin Graham was the great-great-grandson of the somewhat famous Rabbi Yaakov Gesundheit, who was the chief rabbi of Warsaw in the early 1870s. Uh, but as we're about to see, this is actually not true. And it just goes to show you that uh, even if a bunch of sources, uh, including some books and Wikipedia, seem to be reputable um, sources of information, you still want to look at the original records because in this case, as it turns out, um, that relationship was not correct. Dorothy was born around 1868 in Warsaw, Poland, and she came to the U.S. Um, around the same time as her younger brother, Morris. Uh, and 
it took a little while to figure out who their parents were but after doing some digging i was able to find dorothy's death certificate which lists her parents as julius gesundheit and rachel teitelbaum uh, and then when i did some searching through british records i was able to find uh, the gravestone of julius gesundheit uh, along with a 1901 a uh, British census that he appears on just a few years before he died. His gravestone lists his Hebrew name as being Yehuda, son of Benjamin, and the census says that he was the owner of a china shop, which is fully in line with the professions of Bernard and Isaac Grossbaum. Turning back to the Warsaw records, we can see that Yudka, which is a Yiddish variation of Yehuda, son of Benjamin Gesundheit, married a woman named Rivka Goldfarb. And at first I was a little bit confused because the death certificate did say that the mother's last name was Teitelbaum, uh, but on a lot of these old Polish records, um, occasionally the last name of a mother and a father will be interchanged. Um, that was actually the case with one of the Grossbaum records. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what the situation is there, but it's possible that one of the parents of Ra of uh, of Rachel had the last name Teitelbaum, the other one had the name Goldfarb, um, and the document might just have listed the other one. From Binyamin's 1837 marriage record to Fega Reinholtz, we can see that his parents were Moshe Gesundheit and Devora. Another thing I noticed about some of these older birth records is um, it would list the name as if it was a first and a middle name, but I actually do believe that in this case there is a patronymic. You might be wondering now, how then was he related to this famous Rabbi Yaakov Gesundheit? Um, and through taking a deep dive on the records, uh, I have come to the conclusion that um, there was a son, Itzhak. Um, so Itzhak is listed um, on a bunch of uh, books and documents as the father of Yaakov Gesundheit. And there is an Itzhak son of Binyamin. And I believe that this Itzhak was a brother of Moshe. Hey folks, just cutting in here with a quick interjection um, because something I had recorded earlier on in the video was not 100% accurate. So I am just recording this um, to clarify something. So um, Rabbi Yaakov Gesundheit, um, it's uncertain exactly how he's related to Benjamin Graham, but he was either, as I had initially thought, his first cousin three times removed, but what I actually think is probably more likely is that he was his great-great-granduncle. So there's kind of an issue going on with a lot of the records where uh, it's uncertain exactly which uh, Moshe um, Benjamin Graham is descended from. Now, originally I thought it was Moshe, the son of Binyamin, because a lot of the birth records um, show the name of the wife being the same and Moshe son of Binyamin, but the marriage record does say Moshe son of Yitzchak uh, and given the age of Moshe son of Binyamin um, when he was born, uh, it doesn't seem likely that this would be the same person. Um, so at first I thought the marriage record had a mistake on it. I think probably it doesn't. Either way though, um, the rabbi is not Benjamin Graham's uh, great great grandfather. While the connections here aren't rock solid, um, I'm pretty sure given all the little details listed about names of both spouses and brothers of the rabbi, um, the records do seem to be in line with this being the relationship. First cousin, three times removed, which is obviously a lot less sexy than him being his great great grandfather. Um, so I can understand why people would have wanted to say that, but come on, like, if there aren't records actually proving that, they shouldn't have printed that. Um, so now you know that anytime you see that this is how he's related to this rabbi, that's probably not true. Um, he was related to him, but a lot more distantly. It's no different from dubious information being put on public trees. Sometimes all it takes is one person to give false information, and then it just gets repeated over and over again by a number of sources, and pretty soon the entire world is believing something that isn't backed up by evidence. So you always, always, if you can, you really want to go back to the original sources and try to figure out uh, whether this link is actually true. And that wraps up our episode on one of the greatest investors of all time, Benjamin Graham, 
aka benjamin grossbaum whose family came from warsaw, poland if you liked this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel as always, i'm looking forward to bringing you more videos about famous jews as well as tips and tricks that you can use in your own genealogy research so thank you so much for watching and we'll get you next time